necessary. Well, talks have broken down between the Archdiocese of Milwaukee and hundreds of sex abuse victims. They just could not come to an agreement. Our Jenna Sachs reports this latest setback comes as the diocese nears its second year of bankruptcy. Talks break down between the Archdiocese of Milwaukee and 575 victims of sexual abuse. You know, this is really a sad day. Uh, for victims, their families. They've been in court ordered mediation since July, trying to hammer out what one judge called astronomical costs. The advocacy group for those abused by priests says the archdiocese has refused to accept responsibility. What this is about and what it's been about from the day that they filed for bankruptcy is about secrets. The archdiocese released a statement saying in part, although a resolution could not be reached at this time, we remain hopeful a consensual resolution will ultimately be reached. The archdiocese had filed for bankruptcy protection, saying it was the only way to settle with victims while continuing its ministry. So far, it's already spent more than $7 million in legal fees, costs that will continue to grow. I think it would probably be a year to 18 months more would be my, that's a best guesstimate. One Marquette professor says it's now up to a judge to settle the dispute. 575 people is a lot of people to have claims. The question is, is how many assets will be available? The victim's attorney now intends to review millions of dollars the archdiocese transferred into trust before its bankruptcy and will push for the release of documents. There's over 60,000 pages uh, that are of documents sitting in the bankruptcy court. We think those documents should be publicly out there. The Archdiocese says the mediation talks were confidential, so any specific comment on why those talks broke down would violate that agreement. Brad Nam. All right, thank you, Jenna. The church's attorney is expected to try and throw out some of the claims while back in court, like those beyond the statute of limitations or those involving some previous settlements. The first